Junior, the runner-up. Here's the man who has just won $794,326. And he had to knock down a few doors to do it. Door number one, door number two, finally door number three. Had a couple of tire marks and one helmet mark on his car. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dick Bergen's in victory lane. Well, Ryan Newman's still getting congratulated by his crew. This is a team effort, after all. And, Engineer, you usually don't show very much emotion. We've seen a lot of it tonight. How's it feel? Feels really good. I mean, it's, I'm sure it means a lot to me. It'll mean a lot more to me tomorrow, I'm sure. But uh, it's these guys in this Alltel Ford team. I mean, uh, we struggled a little bit qualifying, came and just, just kept working on it, kept working on it, making it better. Um, you know, we made, the, we made the cuts just barely. We finished first in the second race and finished 20th in the first run. And, I mean, just had to drive the wheels off the thing, but uh, happy to run what we did. The invert helped a lot, but uh, thank, thank everybody at Winston, R.J. Reynolds, and everybody for the opportunity. It's awesome. How about Earnhardt Jr.? He had a chance to take you right out and let you go on to win this event. What do you make of that? He did a good job. I mean, uh, I messed up the last uh, last lap there going into one and two a little bit, drifted wide, and I think I slowed him up just enough that, uh, I mean, he could have hit me, and I'm not even sure if he did or not. I know I got loose, but uh, just... You know, my hat's off to him, too. He could have he done me wrong and, and went on and won the race, but it was a clean race, and it was fun. In the days when you were racing sprint cars, pounding around local dirt tracks, did you ever imagine yourself at Victory Lane at Lowe's Motor Speedway winning $750,000 in one night? Well, sometimes you dream about it, but uh, I just want to thank my family, my dad, my mom, everybody back at home. Uh, i got to thank Buddy Baker. He was awesome. He helped us so much getting us uh, to go faster on this racetrack, and he owes a lot of we owe a lot of congratulations to him, too. When you finally won that 16-lap shootout, did you think you had a shot to win this thing, or did you think that was the trophy you were going home with? I knew also got the car up front. We had an awesome race car, and it was just a matter of track position. You saw Jimmy Johnson there, the two segments, he stayed up front, and... Uh, um, you know, once you get up front, it's easier to stay up front. We got the opportunity to get the lead and took advantage of it. Hey, look who's coming here to congratulate you. Junior. <laughs> Good job. Great. Enjoy. Hey, dare I say great Enjoy save. Right. <laughs> this shit don't have all that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't hear that, so it's okay. Congratulations, Ryan Newman. Big, big night here. Rest of the year, what do you think? I don't know. We're just, you know, we look forward to next weekend, obviously. We've got a great race car, great race team, and uh, come back and hopefully we can have a great weekend. That's all we can hope for. boy, congratulations. A big night. Mike Joy. Winston Cup rookies won every segment tonight. Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman. And, and so what are you trying to say? Uh, a lot of young guys out there tonight, wasn't there? Ended up that way, didn't it? It sure did. And I'm proud of Dale Jr. That's, that's my hero right there. Ryan Newman has won the Winston, but we have much more to come from Lowe's Motor Speedway in Charlotte. Survival of the fastest, well, survival of the richest. Ryan Newman wins over $750,000. Buck and a half for Junior. Matt Kenseth, the pole sitter, 72.5. Pretty nice pay night. Jimmy Johnson with those four fresh tires, he makes it back to fifth, and he was definitely coming there at the end, but just not enough laps. Now that's what they win in the last segment. Jimmy also won 100 grand for winning the previous two segments. Two segments. Yeah, and uh, Ryan Newman will now be able to upgrade a little bit. But I'm telling you guys, I saw Jeff Burton in the 99 finish 20th. To me, not the call of the night, not the call of the year, probably the call of the decade. Frankie Stoddard and that wow. pit strategy in that first segment, making a four tire change, mandatory green flag stop on the last lap. Cool, man. Two rookies scored big tonight. Ryan Newman, the fellow who's with Matt Yoakum. And unlike Florida, no recounts on the inversion process. And you were trying, though. Yeah, I had my chant going on in the car, uh, chanting no inversion. But uh, you knew it was coming. When we're up there leading that thing, I thought, well, at least we won the first two segments and hope for the best. But uh, Chad and these guys built me a brand new race car we never tested. Fast off the truck, uh, won two out of the three segments. Thank all the guys in the engine shop back at Hendrick Motorsports, Lowe's, uh, you know, employee owners. Winning two out of the three segments here at our home track at Lowe's Motor Speedway is a neat thing. And um, I'm, I really believe the fans were able to see a good race with Junior getting back to second. You know, we got to fifth, starting tenth. So uh, I believe they got their, their money's worth. And uh, big congratulations to Ryan. Also, he learned a lot for next weekend's Coca-Cola 600, Dick Bergeron. Well, Kurt Busch down here signing autographs as well he should. Fourth place, wild night. What happened with you and Robbie Gordon? 
That was good stuff. We were running hard. We had a great engine tonight. I have to thank the Roush Engine Shop for that. Kenseth and I finished third and fourth. Good to race Matt at the end. And uh, set up all of that. We were racing hard. 20 was holding us up a little bit with the 31 and us and the 32 behind us. 20 slips getting into one. 31 gets underneath them now. Now they're racing through one and two, which creates a draft for the third car. And the 31 was a little bit loose. And when I got there, I had a head of steam and I hated to use him as a caution. But he dumped us at Richmond. I didn't feel like that was the right thing at Richmond, but I didn't feel like that was the right thing to do tonight, but we needed a caution to catch that 12. That was the only way it was going to be a show at the end. All right. That's Kurt Busch's side of the story. Mike Joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were lots of winners tonight. Ryan Newman, 750 grand, and the potential winners of the 1-800-CALL-ATT call to victory sweepstakes. Pending eligibility verification are Barbara Redmond, Sayville, New York, Melody Ledford, Canton, North Carolina, and Randall Irwin of Holland, Ohio. Congratulations to you folks. You're winners too on Stock Car Racing's All-Star Night. More to come, keep it right here on FX. FX welcomes you back live and there's your Winston winner in his first try. Ryan Newman, no driver has come from further back in the history of this race. 27th and the largest field ever. And the rookie, the engineering degree from Purdue, having a little trouble handling the uh, the bottle there, but cashing in big here at the Winston. Another full weekend of racing across the Fox Networks beginning Thursday on FX with Winston Cup qualifying live from Charlotte right here. And Saturday on FX, it's Winston Cup final practice followed by the CarQuest Auto Parts 300. That's on Fox. And on Sunday, start your race day with NASCAR this morning presented by Smirnoff Ice on Fox Sports Net. Then go racing under the lights with the Coca-Cola 600. You'll see that on Fox. Speed Channel, the home of NASCAR TV. Nothing gets you closer to NASCAR. Well, Jeff Hamilton, uh, interesting as you look at the fireworks in the background, controversy and fireworks. By the way, Kurt Busch, we're gonna hit, we nicknamed Jimmy Spencer his moniker. I never, it's it's candid Kurt from I'm now on. I'm telling you right now, he, he said some, it all, buddy. He spilled he some said things it all. there. All right, and obviously, uh, Elliot Sattler's, uh, you know, the helmet, the dent mm -hmm. in Ryan Newman's car did not affect the speed of, uh, of the 12 car pulling it out. No, if anything, it may have motivated him to get, him on, get away from uh, Elliot. I think he was a little bit hot, but Ryan did a great job as far as maintaining his cool keeping the car on the bottom of the racetrack and not getting, uh, you know, off track hey, right Nate. at the end. And he got it home hey. for the victory. Uh, Sattler probably the only one that uh, is unhappy about Ryan's <laughs> win. But, I, you know, I really, we have to comment on uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. We all got to witness. We know he's a great driver. And we know he's uh, a gutsy, but also very classy. And his uh, his comments and his almost second guessing about what point he could have taken it to to try and pull the victory out. Well, I think it's one of those deals. It's not so much the victory. All of a sudden, I think the money deal set in about that time. It's like, oh, man, I had a chance to win $750,000. I had him loose and I didn't do it but in the morning he'll like himself a whole lot more it was really a classy move we saw a lot of great moves tonight we saw some moves I think weren't so good yeah I went this t as a typical deal you know and you see all these guys up here right now uh celebrating part of the cruise part who, of the cruise uh, credit him tonight exactly it's a team sport and there's a team right there that got the job done tonight but this race right here always brings out the unexpected that's just the yeah. nature of the beast here and a lot of the guys got out and said hey it's the Winston it's the Winston that's what happens at the Winston. From the creative uh, pit work with uh, Frankie Stoddard and Jeff Burton, and, uh, of course, what happened with Jeff Gordon, uh, the windshield wiper or a uh, washer problem, then Elliott Sadler. But in the end, Ryan Newman, the winner. Tomorrow, the uh, Stacker 2 at 200, as you will see that live on FX from Nazareth to get the wrap-up on NASCAR Victory Lane All Access. Uh, Ricky Craven, part of that, on Fox Sports Net. The coordinating producing, uh, coordinating director, I should say, of NASCAR on Fox is Artie Kepner. Today's race produced by Neil Goldberg. The pit producers, Pam Miller, David Blatt. Technical producers, Steve Stubb and Dave Pill. Opening sequence produced by Gary Lang. Associate directors are, well, Greg, we call him Scope. And Derek Manning, the associate producer, Bill Richards. Broadcast associates, Chuck McDonald and Judy Wong. The coordinating producer of NASCAR on Fox is Richie Zions, we call him Z. The senior producer, Bill Brown. The executive producers, the big shadow, the big guys of Fox Sports, Ed Gord and David Hill. For everyone here, I'm Chris Myers. Thanks for watching Racing on FX.